Hey everyone, it's Marsha, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the best tender and juicy pan fried chicken breast. So let's jump right into it. So I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I'm just gonna pat dry, and then I'm gonna cut each chicken breast in half. So you guys have seen me do this on other videos before, but I just carefully take my knife, I try to find the center of the chicken breast and I just cut it in half. Some may call this butterflying, but we're gonna cut all the way through to make two separate chicken cutlets or chicken pieces. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the second chicken breast. Just take your time. If it's not completely even, that's totally fine, but you wanna end up with four different chicken pieces. Then I'm gonna take some parchment paper, lay it over the top, and then I just want to gently pound out the chicken breast. So I'm only doing the top part of the chicken breast that's still kind of thick. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you cut your chicken breast in half. So the very top part is still a little thick and I just wanna even that out. So the chicken breast is completely even and it'll cook evenly when you put it in the pan. Next, we're just gonna add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna add our spices and seasoning. I have some salt, pepper, paprika, and some Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna mix that up, and then I am going to add that to the chicken breast. Now I'm gonna do this in two steps. So first, I'm just sprinkling it on top, but then I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to rub that seasoning in really good because you want to make sure your chicken is thoroughly seasoned and coated so you don't want any of the seasoning to fall off. So that's why I'm rubbing it, rubbing it in with my hands to make sure it's thoroughly coated. Next, I'm just gonna flip the chicken breast over and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Once my chicken breasts are well seasoned, then I'm just gonna move that to the side, grab a medium sized bowl, add in some flour, not a lot, just a little bit, and then we want to season our flour. So I'm seasoning the flour with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and then we're just gonna lightly coat each of those chicken breasts. So this is not a heavy coating or any type of double breaded chicken breast, deep fry, we're not doing any of that. This is just a very light coating. And then you wanna shake off any excess flour once you coat both sides of the chicken breast. Once all your chicken breasts are coated, it's time to move on to our skillet. So I'm using a large 12 inch skillet that I've already added some oil to. And now I'm just gonna add just a little bit of butter. I like the combination of oil and butter. I think it gives it great flavor and great color. So that's why I'm using both. And then we're just gonna go ahead and gently place our chicken breasts in. Now, normally I wouldn't wanna crowd my pan but for this particular cooking method, I am going to squeeze all four chicken breasts in. That's why you want to use a large skillet that will fit all four breasts. And that's because I don't want to just cook one single chicken breast in a second batch. I think it's kind of a waste. And by the time you finish the first batch, your oil and butter has kind of got kind of dark and burnt. So I like to try to cook all four pieces in one batch. Once your chicken breast has cooked for about three to four minutes on the first side, you just wanna flip that over and allow it to cook for about three minutes on the second side. And as you can see, you'll start to get a golden brown color and it'll look so good. I like to check my chicken breasts to make sure they're done with a meat thermometer. I highly suggest that they're cheap. I'll list the one that I use down below in the description box, but it's definitely worth the investment. And so I'm letting my chicken breasts rest on a wire rack just so the underside doesn't get soggy. I want it to stay crispy all the way around. And several times people have asked me to cut into my food so I can show you what it looks like. I honestly just forget because I usually make these videos during lunchtime. And so when I'm finished shooting, I'm so hungry that I just start eating the food. But as you can see, the chicken breast is juicy and tender. I don't know if you can see the juices still running out of the chicken when I cut it, but 
It is super juicy, you guys, and tender. So definitely try this method out. It's so good. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, come back, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a big thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I post a new video. See you in the next one.